thank you so much for joining me in this video. Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Quinn. I also go by QP and on my channel, I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. Um, in this video, I want to do a review, unboxing, and kind of like first impression of the Kiss Falscara lash kits. Now this is something that I heard about on YouTube because I was really interested in the Lashify lash system um, and I actually did a Lashify review just a few videos before this. As I mentioned in my Lashify video, Lashify is very expensive for what it is and a lot of other YouTubers have mentioned the Falscara kit as kind of like a dupe for the Lashify kit. They of course have mentioned that it's not as high of quality and in my opinion it's kind of like a knockoff of the Lashify system since there are so many things in this kit that are almost like identical to the Lashify system, but for so much less. So this kit I bought at Target for about $29, so just shy of $30, uh, whereas the Lashify system with just the control kit was like $145. So huge price difference. Um, so this one is a lot more affordable. However, is it any good? Um, does it even compare to the Lashify system? That is what this video is all about and that is what I am here to kind of compare and let you guys know. All right, so I kind of got ahead of myself and took it out of the box, but I went ahead and put it back in the box so you guys can see what it looks like when you buy it. Um, now, as I mentioned, you can get this from Target. You can get this from the KISS website. I've tried looking for this on Amazon as well, but it was really expensive on Amazon. So KISS actually has different versions of the Falscara kits. I know the most accessible one and the one that's easiest to find is their original Falscara kit where you kind of just get one set of lashes and it's predetermined already the length that you get. This is their special edition kit where you actually get multiple variations of lashes. So you get short, mediums, and long lashes. That way you can actually decide what you want on your lashes and accommodate your lashes a little bit better. I think this one is a little bit better in that it is more customizable, whereas the other one is pretty much you get what comes in the package. I also like that this comes with more things in here it seems like. So it has the bond, the seal, the remover, and then there's an all-nighter. Um, so it's pretty much just something that you reapply to make sure that the lashes stay on if you wear it like long term. It also comes with its own wand which is again very similar to the Lashify system. This wand is slightly different from the Lashify wand. I'm going to test it out and see if it still works and if it still does its job even though it's a different shape. All right so when you open this up it comes in this very compact box which I actually really like. It's very simple, very to the point. As I mentioned it comes with this wand. This is what you use to pick up the lashes and apply the lashes and then once you apply the lashes, you use this to pretty much fuse the fake lashes to your real lashes, pretty much just kind of like squeeze them together. And this actually feels pretty good in the hand. I like the color a lot. It's sturdy. It's a nice shape. I have no complaints about it, but I haven't tried it against my eyelashes yet so I'll let you know if this is eyelash friendly and if it works with the lash system. And then the next thing in here is the bond. So unlike the Lashify system where you have the whisper light, it's like a kind of like a dual tube like this but it has a bond on each side with different applicators. This one actually has the bond on one side and then the seal on the other side. And then the next thing in here is the overnighter. This is, as I mentioned, just something that you touch up with. Um, it's kind of like another glue that you can put after you put the lashes on. So the bond is something that you put before you put the lashes on and this can be applied after the lashes are already on and it's just kind of to hold it in still. And then the last thing you get in this kit is the remover. This is something that I actually am really excited about to see in this kit because the Lashify system did not come with the remover. They have a sample that they give you, which is this. And of course, this can only be used a couple of times, but it's really nice that this kit actually comes with a remover because I did notice that when I was using the Lashify system, even after I removed my lashes, um, there's still glue that's left over unless you use like a heavy duty eye makeup remover. So that is something that um, it's just nice to have in the kit in case you know you run out of eye makeup remover and you don't have to worry about 
glue like clumping up your lashes and then as far as the lashes in this kit I saw a lot of people complain about like how hard these were to lift out and I think maybe kiss heard their complaints because they definitely have changed the way that they've adhered their lashes onto the system it doesn't stick very hard it's actually very easy to remove and it almost kind of looks like they replaced the glue that they originally had with like a velcro so these lashes even though they stay on they don't take very much effort to lift out of the kit at all which is really nice and um, i like that they listened to all of the um, reviews and the complaints and everything and change their packaging to accommodate. As I mentioned before, this comes with a whole row of shorts, a whole row of longs, and then two rows of mediums. So I'm guessing that the mediums are the ones that are used the most, so they um, give you a lot of those, which I'm really happy about because I probably won't be using too much of the longs, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So that is pretty much what you get in this kit. I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply this and see if it is similar application to the Lashify system, if the glue is nice, and um, if it's just easy to use. Because I think at the end of the day, that's what appeals to me most about this type of system, is it's just so much easier to apply than a regular traditional strip lash system or like fake lashes that you normally get. All right, so before I get started, I wanna make sure to curl my lashes first because as I mentioned in my Lashify video, I have pin straight lashes. And so I wanna make sure that my lashes are slightly curled so that they match up with the lashes in the kit. Also, I apologize for the lighting. The sun is like escaping through the window here. And so you'll see it like hit my face. So apologize for that. <laughs> Okay, so now that my lashes are curled, I am going to just comb them out real quick so that they're not clumped together. So now I'm ready to go in with the bond and just apply that onto my lashes. And so far, I do like this brush a lot. It picks up a good amount of formula, but it doesn't like make it really globby. And then right away, I can tell this applies a lot more product than the Lashify applicator. So I don't know if it's gonna be good or bad, but I definitely feel like my lashes are a lot more wet than um, when I apply the bond from the Lashify kit. Another thing I noticed is because this is so much more like wet of a formula, it pretty much just straightened my lashes. I don't know if that's going to affect um, the application, but we're just gonna go with it. And then since I use the 12s and 10s for the Lashify system. I'm just going to use the medium and small in this system so that I can compare them a little bit better. So here's the first one. This is a medium. Ah, okay. One thing I've already noticed is this does not give you as much control as the Lashify control wand, um, like not much at all. And I think it's because the Lashify control wand has the silicone sleeves and that just grips these lashes so much better. Um, I didn't realize that it would make that much of a difference, but just trying to hold the lashes with the wand is like actually pretty difficult without the silicone sleeves. So that's one thing that I've definitely noticed. I've had to kind of adjust and reapply, adjust and reapply like multiple times and I still can't get it right onto my lashes. Okay, so that's the first one. <laughs> It took a lot longer to apply. All right, I'm gonna switch over to the shorts now. Okay, Ooh, here's what I have so far. I'm going to try to fuse them all together. All right, so right off the bat, with using the wand to fuse. It's not terrible. Um, I'm able to clamp down on the lashes really well. It's not super sharp. I don't feel like it's going to like hurt my eyes or anything like that. I honestly think that if they would be able to put a silicone sleeve on this, it would make such a huge difference just because you get so much more grip with a silicone sleeve. Whereas this one, you can kind of lose control of the Lash is a lot easier. It's not horrible though. I think that this is a pretty decent wand, 
for the price especially considering that this is just a fraction of the cost of the lashify system as far as the actual lashes i just think that these lashes are too thick so the band on them is like a lot thicker than the band on the lashify system so i think because it's so much wider you can actually see like it's like a straight line so it doesn't curve with your eyelid as much as the lashify system does i am pretty impressed with how thin they were able to get the band it's thicker than the lashify system but it's still a lot thinner than like regular strip lashes which is really nice staring at the lashes from underneath you can definitely see it's like it almost looks like an like octagonal shape instead of like a rounded like really nice smooth smooth arch and it's definitely not as comfortable as the Lashify system, I think it's because these strips are a little bit thicker. Overall though, appearance wise, I think it looks really good, especially from the top. Like if you're looking at this from the top, you really can't tell that I have fake lashes on because you don't see the strip lashes that you normally would with traditional strip lashes. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this onto my left eye and then talk about whether or not I like the system or not. So here is what they look like. If you look at it from above, it actually doesn't look bad. So now I'm gonna go in with seal and apply that. And that pretty much just seals everything in. It takes away the tackiness from the glue. I'm gonna apply it onto my lower lashes as well so it doesn't stick to my upper lashes. All right, so that is pretty much the application of the Kiss Falscara Lashes. I actually do think they look really nice. I think that they look a lot better than regular lashes or fake lashes. Um, I like that I was able to control the lengths because I think this length actually looks really, really good. There isn't as much curl as the Lashify system and that's probably because I got the curl kits. So the Lashify system just has more variations of lashes, but for a fraction of the price, I think that these look pretty good. They're not as comfortable though, I will say. Um, you can feel the band a lot more in these, but it's not horrible. The last thing that this kit has that the Lashify system actually doesn't come with is the overnighter. So this you apply after you have the lashes on already, and it's supposed to be kind of just like a touch up. So if you have the lashes on during the day and then you're thinking about going out at night, this is kind of just like, okay, put this on and make sure the lashes stay on throughout the night. Another thing I want to mention is that the seal formula actually has a coating. It's very similar to like a clear brow gel in my opinion, because you can still feel it. Uh, whereas the Lashify like glass is very, very seamless. It, you don't really, it's very lightweight. Um, this one has a little bit thicker of a consistency and you can actually feel um, like where it's applied. I don't know if it makes a difference, but just something that I noticed. So let's move on to the overnighter. I think my seal is dry now, so I'm just going to brush that onto the bottom of my lashes here. And that is supposed to make it last all night and even possibly into a few days. Okay, so I moved over to this corner of the room where the sun isn't hitting me directly in the face and making it impossible to film. Um, but yeah, so here are the results from the Kiss Falscara kit. As you guys can see, it actually looks pretty good. Um, I like it a lot better than false strip lashes that go on top of the lashes. I think that it has a really nice natural look. It doesn't look like it's like overly dramatic, especially for Asian eyes like mine. A lot of times when I wear fake lashes, it just looks too intense and it looks too fake. With these, I actually like that they, they don't look like crazy fake. One thing that I do want to mention is the strips itself isn't as neat as the Lashify strips. 
Uh, and when I say that, I mean the ends of them kind of poke out a little bit and I think they kind of just create the strips and then cut them. And so when you have that, I, I feel it on the outer corner of my eyes every time I blink. And so they're not as comfortable as the Lashify gossamers. Um, that's one thing that I have 100% noticed wearing these. Maybe I just have them a little bit too close to my lash lines, but this is very similar placement to how I place the Lashify lashes and I don't feel the Lashify ones at all. So that is something that I do want to point out. Maybe it's something that you can go in and trim up yourself before you use this kit um, because you know, for $30 for this entire kit, it is a lot cheaper. So if you want to try the Lashify system, but you don't know if you want to invest like $100 $50, $200 in getting started, then maybe the Kiss Falscara kit is something that you want to try first before you kind of dive into the deep end. All right, well, I mean, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find it helpful. I know that I'm constantly on the hunt for fake lashes and just ways to enhance my eyes. So I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed filming it. But yeah, anyway, that is pretty much it. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Uh, let me know if you have a favorite lash system or lash brand that you use constantly. I would love to know all of that. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and hit that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.